Skull and Bones shows off ship customization and smuggling networks. Skull and Bones is the first video game led by developer Ubisoft Singapore, which drew inspiration from the naval battles of Assassin's Creed IV, Black Flag. The game began development in 2013, being initially envisioned as an expansion of Assassin's Creed IV, Black Flag, then an MMO spin-off title under the name Black Flag Infinite. It was then spun off as an independent project, in part due to its initial technology becoming outdated. According to a Kotaku report, the game has undergone multiple changes in direction and scope during development, exceeding its budget multiple times. Initially set in the Caribbean, it was moved to the fantastical Hyperborea, then finally the Indian Ocean. Gameplay was redesigned multiple times, focusing variously on naval exploration and ship-to-ship -ship combat, before both were scrapped in favor of land-based survival elements inspired by games like Rust. Developers contacted by journalist Ethan Gatch attributed these difficulties to conflicting ideas, management issues, and lack of consistent direction. The project reportedly cost Ubisoft more than $120 million. It was revealed during Ubisoft's press conference at E3 2017. It was confirmed for Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One, with enhancements for PlayStation 4 Pro and Xbox One X. Alongside the game, Ubisoft Singapore announced the Keepers of the Code program, designed to allow players to aid in the fine-tuning of its live service aspects. Originally set to be released in Q3-Q4 2018, the game was later delayed into 2019, and again to sometime after March 2020. On a call with investors in October 2019, Ubisoft CEO Eve Guillemot confirmed that the game had been pushed back to at least the April 2021 to March 2022 fiscal year. In May 2021, Ubisoft announced a subsequent delay to the April 2022 to March 2023 fiscal year. In July 2022, the company revealed a November 8 release date for the game. In September 2022, Ubisoft announced that the release was pushed back to March 9, 2023. In September 2020, it was revealed that, while development was continuing, a new vision for the game had emerged which resulted in the release delays as more development time was needed. As well, it was stated that additional Ubisoft studios, such as Ubisoft Berlin, were co-developing the game alongside Ubisoft Singapore. Skull and Bones lets players explore a fictionalized version of the Indian Ocean during the golden age of piracy, but piracy didn't just spring up from nowhere, especially not in the Indian Ocean. It fed off a rich trade in spices, silks, and other hot commodities for 17th-century Europeans. These lucrative pickings led pirates to a new business opportunity, their own secret smuggling networks. During Ubisoft Forward, the Skull and Bones team revealed a bit more about these networks, which are only revealed to you once you've earned the right to know. To achieve that, you'll have to grow your infamy and eventually unlock your own pirate lair, known as the Helm, which becomes the base of your smuggling operations. This is where you'll be able to manufacture high-value goods like rum and opium before selling them to whoever's got the deepest pockets. From here, you'll also have more leeway to choose your own contracts, rather than be at the mercy of other pirate kingpins. The forward presentation also revealed more about how you'll be able to build and customize your ships. Each ship type is geared toward different kinds of playstyles, whether you're looking for maneuverability, power, or cargo capacity, but each also comes with certain perks. For example, the Sambook gives an advantage to players using fire weapons, while the Brig, already a heavy hitter, can deal even more damage when it's anchored. And that's just the start each ship can then be fitted with different weapons, ammo, armor, furniture, and cosmetic items, letting players tailor them to specific tasks and make them uniquely their own. Arming your ship is about more than just stockpiling cannonballs, you'll need to consider what you want to accomplish. Do you prefer to sink enemy vessels and plunder their watery remains? Then you'll want piercing ammo, which punches through armor and lets the water rush in or fire ammo, 
which can wreak all kinds of havoc on a big wooden structure. If you want to disable ships for easy boarding, however, tearing ammo will make short work of their sails. And there's a huge variety of weapons to choose from, with different cannons, ballistae, mortars, rocket launchers, and even torpedoes, each with unique damage types to keep your enemies guessing. That said, each weapon also has an armor type that can counter it. You wouldn't want to use a flamethrower against a ship clad in leather panels, for example, as leather is strong against fire damage. Learning to recognize what your enemies are using to protect themselves, and responding with a weapon that can completely destroy it, is one of many ways to survive at sea. If you'd like to get an early taste of what it's like to captain your own ship in skull and bones, the developers are looking for volunteer PC players to play and provide feedback through the Insider program. To sign up for a chance to join, visit the official site. Skull and Bones launches on November 8 for PC, PS5, Xbox Series X, S, Stadia, and Amazon Luna. For more on the game, find out if your rig is ready with Skull and Bones PC specs and learn more about what it's like to plunder targets on land as well as at sea.